tan mono. Sir, can I start the session? Okay, okay. A warm greeting to one and all. Let's begin today's session with prayer. I invite Ms. Usha for the opening prayer. Viryam Karabavahai Tejas Pinavadi Tamastuma Vipishavahai Shanti 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 Good evening to one and all present here for the international online workshop on Sukshma Vyayama on the occasion of 8th International Day of Yoga Celebration 2022 organized by Zen Yoga Wellness Center, Chennai in association with Faculty of Yoga Science and Therapy, Minakshi Academy of Higher Education and Research, deemed to be University, Chennai, and Indian Yoga Association, New Delhi. Now, I'd like to invite Mr. Yoganand, Physiotherapist, Project Manager in Multinational Company in Clinical Research, and also as the Mind Power Trainer to introduce our Chief Guest. Uh, good evening to all. Really, I am very happy to invite Dr. R. Ilongavan, Chief Guest of this program. He is a professor and head of faculties of yoga sciences and therapy, Meenach Academy of Higher Education Research, deemed university in Chennai. Uh, he is a, he's a very vast experience in more than 38 experience of teaching experience in school, colleges and university and yoga and physical education. 
and also that research experience having more than 17 years of experience in research alone and senior social scientist approved by New Delhi. And also specifically he produced more than 42 PhDs and guided more than 130 MPhil student awardees and 290 PG holders. And also a publication more than six book and more than 30 lessons and materials for schools of distance education and yoga courses he launched. And also published more than 340 articles in magazine 193 and scientific journals 148, including co-authorship, presented more than 250 papers in a number of national and international conferences, including co-authorship of yoga and physical education. And uh, Dr. Ilongamana's notable achievement is visited in China twice and for academic purposes. The first yoga professors officially in the history of Tamil Nadu Government University is noted on the people. The first yoga professor appeared in the history of Deemed University of Tamil Nadu, MAHR. And organization skill is more than 50 international and national conference seminars, symposium workshops through online webinars he has conducted. He has done more than 45 programs in all India radio and television channel, given more than 150 times guest speeches, special addresses, invited lectures, resource person and chairpersons. He is awarded with a lot of awards and rewards, the many awards and the many international awards in Life Club Internationals. And recently also, he got that some other Ratna, Yoga Ratna award also. So really, I am very proud to invite Dr. Ilangovan to chief guest of this program. A single man can make the difference. He is the only person to spread that yoga through all over the world. He transformed a lot of students' lives around the global. I am very proud to invite Dr. R. Ilangovan, chief guest to the special yoga sessions. Welcome, sir. Welcome, mom. Welcome, sir, to give some golden speech words. We are waiting, sir. Thank you very much. Give them a huge round of applause. Thank you for your wonder, wonderful introduction. Now I invite uh, our chief guest to give the special address. Good evening to one and all. Sorry, warm. Thank you very much for Jen and Wellness Yoga Center for having given this opportunity. So we feel elated to be with you at this August gathering. This year we are celebrating 8th International Day of Yoga. We, the India, has given this fantastic gift to the whole world for promoting total well-being of an individual and on the whole. Each and every year, the program has been promoted. This time we are celebrating for three months. Previously, it was only one month. So it is to be appreciated that our PhD scholar, the great and divine yogini, Dhanalakshmi, for having arranged this fantastic program. I am also indebted to her husband, Yohanan. He is also promoting yoga in a big way. He has both the qualities, yoga and physiotherapy. So at the outset, Yoganand and Dhanalakshmi Yoganand, the great couple, unique in nature, the pride of yoga, both. Their contributions are enormous and immeasurable. I could recall the ancient yogi couples. They promoted yoga throughout the world. 
in Upanishad period, we could see Yajnavalki and Gargi and Tiruvalluvar Vasugi. So in that case, in that way, in modern times at Chennai, we are having the great couple, Yohanand and Danalakmi. Purely it is their own interest to organize such an important and essential concept, Sushma Yayama. What we call in an ordinary terms, warming up activities, loosening the joints, joint freeing exercises. But they are the must for all. If you do the practices what Dhanalakshmi is going to stage that will promote your cartilages, its quality and pressure will be appreciated, appreciable if you do those practices. Tendons and ligaments would get stretched. Synovial fluid would appropriately segregated in a balanced state. Immunity power will be promoted. What we see in COVID-19 pandemic period, lack of immunity power was the main reason for so many deaths. So when you do the practices what Dhanalishmi is going to give, that will promote your immunity power and also, your blood flow would go to brain appropriately. The practices what she is going to give would definitely overcome and remove the free radicals which are stored in our joints. Actually, joints are the places which would have energy intact. But due to lack of our proper lifestyle, our waste products are getting into the joints and there they create a number of problems. So calcium oxalate solidness will be removed when you do the practices what she is going to do. So at the outset, the practices are a must. Many you will wonder why we have to do, how can we do advanced asanas like that and all. No need to worry. If you do the practices what she gives, that is enough for many people, the newcomers, particularly the aged persons. So these are all the treasure that we have to keep it in our mind related to yogi practices. For your kind information, now the period you could have come across that one out of six young couples in India, they couldn't, they can't bear the child. That is the apra, apra, I mean, apprehensive and adverse effect that we could come across. So when you do these practices, what she is going to give today and tomorrow would overcome those problems that overcome infertility and importance at certain areas. Only complicated cases that we can't help. The remaining things, if you do for three months, what she is going to give the practices, definitely you can get overall total well-being. Our your life will become so happy and you can be a unique person, divine person, blissful person, godly like person you can get into change. So with these words I express once again, I appreciate Dr. Yoganand he is the man of principles and also a gem like quality he has. Such a person we need in our profession. 
and he encourages a lot for our generalishment to do phd and both will rule one day or other throughout the world with physiotherapy and yogic practice once again on behalf of our university we express our sincere thanks to you one and all for having gracing this occasion thank you thank you very much thank you thank sir you. Today we had your opportunity to hear your thoughts. Surely this will help us for today's and tomorrow's practical session. Thank you, sir. You can go ahead. Okay, sir. Thank you. Once again, good evening to everyone. Uh, we'll move on to our today's session. Today's session. So before practical, just we'll see some theory part, just five to ten minutes. What's about the sukshma vyayama, and what are the benefit, contraindications, and some general instruction for doing the sukshma vyayama. Then we'll see what are the practices we are going to do. So the sukshma vyayama. Sukshma Vyayama is a specific ancient technique of yogic posture and dynamic movements that was introduced by Swami Dhirendra Brahmachari. He is the student of Magarishi Kartikeya. Dhirendra Brahmachari was born in a Brahmin family. He later got inspired by reading the Bhagavad Gita. He left home at the age of 13 and went to Varanasi. His guru was Magarishi Kartikeya, whose ashram was at Gopal Kera, about 12 miles from Lucknow. Dhirendra Brahmachari studied yoga and associated subjects. In the 1960s, he was invited to travel to the USSR as a Atta Yoga expert to train the Soviet cosmonauts. Javagallal Nehru later invited him to teach yoga to his daughter, Dhirendra Brahmachari was the owner of Vishwayanta Yogashram in the center of Delhi. Now it is known as Moraji Desai National Institute of Yoga. This is a short introduction about the Dhirendra Brahmachari. Sukshma Vyayama. Sukshma. Sukshma means it is a subtle body that is which cannot seen by physical eye. Only we can able to feel that. Vyayama is a series of movements. Stula Sarira, that is a gross physical body which can able to feel and touch. So Sukshma Sarira is one of the five koshas that make up the human being. Sukshma Vyayama is a system of yogic practice which loosen your joints and remove the energy blocks. Then there are three main aspects in Vyayama. So all these three points which we are going to do in the practical session. So what are the three things is breathing. So how the breathing should be means uh, we have to breathe through the nose and breathing should be slow, fast. Fast means it is a bastrika or below's breathing. So if the people uh, from yoga background, they know what is the bastrika. So uh, others, so bastrika pranayama is a forceful inhalation forceful exhalation. So what happens when you do the forceful inhalation and forceful exhalation, it immediately energizes your body and also it clarify your mind. The second one is point of concentration. So if you know the chakra placement, we can concentrate on the particular chakra while practicing or we can concentrate on the bodily areas, the which part of the body we are moving, we can concentrate on the particular part of the body. And eyes must be focused on Prataka. That means we need to look straight and it, it should be one-pointed focus. Then next one is exercise. So exercise involves the series of movement. It involves the bandhas, 
and mudras. We are going to do the bandha and mudra also. But certain people should not practice bandha and mudra. That I will tell you later. Next, we will see the benefit of sukshma vyayama. It stimulates the blood circulation towards the different part of joints like cartilage, ligaments, and it warms up the body. And also, it increases the mobility and makes it flexible. Remove the blockages, tightness in the muscles, and strength. Provide nutrition to all the joints. And it energizes and heals the body while forming the mind. It improves the awareness and concentration. That's what we are saw that we need to concentrate on the bodily part. So while concentrating, it improves our awareness and concentration as well as the memory, intellect, and willpower. And it sharpens the senses also. That's why many of these exercises are performed before the meditation. And it develops the coordination and equilibrium. These joint movements are very significant if performed early in the morning. And it prepares the body for more challenging yoga poses. For doing uh, many of advanced practice, it will be very useful. Contraindications. So contraindications, please uh, uh, listen carefully. So the person in pregnancy, the woman with pregnant and during pregnancy should not practice. And the sciatica, knee pain, hernia and ulcer, hypertension, frozen shoulder or injury. If any uh, injuries in the shoulder or uh, any kind of issues are there in the shoulder, should not practice and lower back pain and surgeries. So these are the contraindication. If uh, we, are we are going to move on to the practical session, if you are with any of these things, we just sit and listen, the, observe the class. General introduction. Follow the fixed hour for the practice of asanas. Keep the exercise room clean and airy. That means we need to open up all the windows or doors or if uh, practicing in the ventilator room, it will be very useful and spread your blanket or the carpet on the even floor. Use comfortable and seasonable clothing. Avoid tight clothing. Never apply pressure on any particular limb. Only regular exercises are beneficial. That means every day we need to practice the uh, sukshma vyayama. So one day we are practicing and the another day not doing. After 10 days we are again practicing means it will not give you any benefit. You should have the regular habit of doing practice. Always practice after toileting. No practice during their menses for female, especially for the women during their monthly cycle and during their pregnancy time should not do this practice. Avoid practice during sickness. If you are with any fever or any other health issue, should not do any kind of practice. Always practice the complementary asana. That means, if uh, example, if you are doing any backward bend, so immediately you need to do the opposite or the counter pose like a forward bend. So it will ease your body. Inhale and exhale always through the nose. During the practice, don't hold your breath. Just freely, happily do the inhalation and exhalation. If possible, keep your eyes closed. Remain fully conscious. So when you close your eyes, your full consciousness will uh, fall on your body. Never hurry up during this practice. Always perform this exercise in rhythmic manner. Okay, I hope you all understand this. Next. So just uh, we'll see the uh, short introduction. These are the practice we are going to do now. That is that. Uh, just observe this picture. I will explain you how to do. This is Ucharana Stala Tata Visuti Chakra Suddhi. So when you do this uh, practice, it clarify or drying the, ventilating the air passage. If the people have any uh, respiratory issues or any upper respiratory or the lower respiratory problem can rectify by practicing this practice and lip sync can be overcome. That means the lip sync means uh, they cannot speak properly. So that can be overcome by practicing this. Next, Buddhi Tata Triti Shakti Vikasaka. It develops your mind and willpower. So it improves your concentration on the crown of your head. Next, we are going to do Medha Shakti Vikasaka. It develops your intellect power. 
next netra shakti vikasaka so netra means is the eye so when you do the practice it improve your vision it strengthen your oculomotor that means uh, it it strengthen your entire eye the eye related muscles bones and the blood vessels everything will be strengthened so uh, eye vision issues will be rectified when you are practicing regularly next kapola shakti vikasaka it rejuvenate the cheeks so usually we do the uh, practice and we do the pranayama through the nose we uh, most of the time we don't use our mouth but in this practice we are using our mouth so it uh, it uh, it induce it rectify the mouth related issues and it remove the germs bacteria virus next griva shakti vikasaka next exercise next is skanda tata babu moola shakti vikasaka that is this exercise for your shoulder it improve the bone strength blood vessels and tone up the shoulder muscles everything next mani bandha shakti vikasaka it developing the wrist so it promote the blood circulation in the wrist and entire upper limb next one we are going to do bujavalli shakti vikasaka is strengthening your forearm next purna bhuja shakti vikasaka that means the both arm we are going to use in this along with breathing so all those practice we are going to do along with the breathing next bhuja bandha shakti vikasaka so so when you do this practice it improve your elbow joint deformities of the arms and shoulder will be cured and also it make your elbows like a elephant trunk so it make so stronger next kaponi shakti vikasaka next one vakshastala shakti vikasaka so when you do this practice it remove the chest diseases tuberculosis asthma and chronic bronchitis next katti shakti vikasaka so it strengthen your hip spine and entire upper and lower body katti shakti vikasaka in other manner katti shakti vikasaka next time this are the types of katti shakti vikasaka next one muladhara chakra shuddhi so muladhara chakra shuddhi means it cleanse your muladhara chakra so in this mainly we are going to do cleansing of muladhara chakra next is janga shakti vikasaka and this is also janga shakti vikasaka too next pindali shakti vikasaka so these are the practice we are going to do now thank you shall we move on to the practical session so i request everyone to switch on your videos so please uh, get up stand up get ready for the practice i think is is it visible so please i, I request everyone to switch on your video you are visible ma'am so if you switch on your video it will be more interesting so i can correct you if you do any mistakes Yes, right. We'll start the practice now. So, before going to any practices, just we'll warm up our body by doing loosening exercise. So, this is also the type of uh, sukshma vyayama. 
Yes. So stamps right. Just give to one foot gap between your feet. Both the feet. Bend the palm at the top. Here is a one palm. Here is a big one. Both the hands next to the body. Your two hands are here. Your one leg is on the side. You can place it. Stance right. If a middle one. मेदा Exhale, bend forward. Me do wrong. Carry the moon for a moment. Bend for a second. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Relax. This is Griva Shakti Vikasaka. Now Griva Shakti Vikasaka two. That is, you can bend your neck. To your right side, just bend your head towards your right, and slowly lift your head to the center. Now, breathe in, breathe out to your right. Bend your neck to the right. Breathe in, up. One more time. Breathe in, breathe out to your right. Breathe in, up. Now to the left. Breathe out to the left. Breathe in, up. Breathe out to your left. Breathe in, up. One more time. Breathe out to your left. Breathe in, up. Good, very good. Now we are going to move, turning our neck to the right side. Slowly. Breathe in, breathe in, and turn your neck towards your right. Medu va, breathe in. Pani dey, uga karu tu pagdiya. Right side a turn pani ga. So breathe out to the center. Now breathe in to your right, left side. Breathe in. Medu va, ungla left side la. Karu tu ninge turn pani la. Turn pani ungla pin pura ma pagla. Breathe out to your center. Center dhirma vandringa. Again. To the right side. Breathe out. Turn to your right and look at your back. Breathe in. Back to center. Now to the left side. Breathe out to your left. Turn your neck to the left. Breathe in. Come back to your center. Good. Very good. Now we move on to the neck rotation. Okay. If I make the walk, we will carry the moon for a while. Bend for a while. Breathe in. Rotate your neck towards your right. Carry the male up. Go more. Much of male up. Pull it in the next side. Left side down. Go more. Much of the body. Pull it in. That is breathe in. When you move your neck up, breathe out. When you come back to the next side. One more time. Breathe in towards your right. Breathe out towards your left. Now opposite direction. If a अधिक ये देख पूरा मास ऐला, right left side start पने कर, breathe in to the left, rotate, breathe towards your right, again breathe in to the left, breathe towards your right, one more time, breathe in to your left, breathe towards your right. So now straighten your neck. Now we are completed with the neck exercise, right? Next one for the shoulder. Spread your both the shoulder at shoulder level. Bend your both the elbow. Place it on your shoulder. Join your both the elbows together. Then the five muttiyam. You know, one na join. Pani the. Breathe in. Raise your hands up. Elbow up. Breathe out. Bring it back to the center. Again, breathe in up. Breathe out down. Back to center. Breathe in up. Breathe out, back to center. Now, anti-clockwise panla, opposite direction la. Breathe in, downward, move down, 
Come up with breathe out. Again, breathe in, downward movement. Again, come up with breathe out. One more time. Breathe in with downward movement. Come up with breathe out. Good, very good. Relax. Extend your both hands and relax. Hands down. Okay. Next one. We are going to do the movement for our rest. Okay. For the rest, extend panaga. Just extend your both hands in front. Open your all the fingers. Now bend your palm down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Good. Now just open your both hands in your shoulder level. Bring it near to the chest. Just keep your hand near to the chest. Now move your palm down, up, down, up, down. Now relax. Hands down, relax. Next one for the fist. Extend your both the hand in front. Just hold all your fingers. Place your thumb finger in, and remaining four fingers are close above that. And just Bend your wrist down, fist down, up, down, up, down. Now, just open. Before we are doing no, the same way, just bring it near to the chest. Move up, move your fist up, down, up, down, up, down. Very good. Extend your both the hands and hands down. Right. Okay. Next, we are going to do the, the full hand rotation. Purna Ujjavalli Vikashaka. Okay. The next one. Just place your both the hands. Now, inhale and move your hand up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now, opposite. The opposite direction. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. In your next side, the other side, inhale, raise your hands up and exhale, bring it back. Inhale, raise up, exhale, bring it back. Inhale up, exhale down. The opposite direction, anti-clockwise, inhale, bring it back. And exhale, bring it front. Inhale back. Exhale front. Inhale up. Exhale down. Very good. Now with both the hands. Inhale. Raise your both the hands up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now to the opposite direction, you can bring your hands back, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, very good, good, now we are completed with the shoulder, next we move on to the Kati Shakti Vikasaga, that is for our hip joint, yes right, now spread your both the hands at your shoulder level, Right? And bring it front. Just place one feet gap between your both the feet. Rindu paadu thirukkom. Oru paadu idhevali vidunga. Vittitu. If a megu va, nika ungloda right side turn panla. Just turn your body towards your right. Turn. Now, come back and move towards your left. So, and come again to the center. We'll repeat this. Inhale to your right. Exhale to the left. Inhale to your right. Exhale to your left. Inhale to your right. Exhale to your left. Inhale back to center. Hands down. Hands down. 
Next, now we move on to the Janga Shakti Vikasaka, that is for our thumbs, right? So, if those who have knee pain, don't do this practice. Mutti vali irukkira vanga, in the paishiya saiya venga, saiya? So, need to raise your both hand front, place one feet gap between your feet. Then, the father took a nadula, one father took a nadula, one father took a nadula. Medhuva, this is called chair pose also. So, Medhuva, you can sit down. Up, come 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 up,
touching touch panda mari front la bend panunga if not touching no issue again do the fast breathe in and breathe out ipa thirumbova fast breathe in breathe out panunga relax bring your head back to center and slowly observe your breath so first time pandravangalukku light ah avangalukku idiya kra mari irukala but it will become okay when you come to regular practice thirumba oru mura pannala slowly bend your neck forward now start doing fast breathing breathe out five times start five time breathing breathe out Relax. Back to center. Just lift your head up. Relax. Good, very good. I hope you all done. Just observe your breathing now. Just observe your body. That we have saw the three aspects of sushma vyayama. That means we need to concentrate on body. So just now you concentrate your body as well as you concentrate your breath. How the breathing is, how the body is. Okay. The next, we move on to the netra shakti vikasaka. That means for the eyes. This exercise meant for the eyes. So, if I am doing it, you are going to place your both the hands neck next to the body. Okay. Just lift your entire neck up. Complete and your neck under back la back panni ke. You are going to open your eyes. Kangala under open panni. Just try to look at your eyebrow center. Ongleda irandu kan puruva madhya kaka try panega. So when you look at your eyebrow center, your both the eyeball will come together. Okay, now squint eye in solmala ya squint eye. And the madri, you know, both the eyeball will come together. Okay. So now slowly raise your head completely up and open your eyes completely. Bring your both the eyeballs together by focusing on your eyebrow center and start fast breathing in, breathe out. Do five times, only five times, fast breathing in, breathe out. Relax. Bring your head back. Those are very new, so you can feel the difference. You may have some uh, irritation or disturbances on your eye because of first time practice. Uh, when you do it regularly, it strengthens your entire eye structure. Okay. One more time, Palla. Remove one more time. Slowly lift your head back. Raise your head up and bend it back. Open your eyes completely. try to focus on your center of eyebrow center of your eyebrow and do the fast breathing now take a breath in breathe out five count only five times if you feel giddiness but or if you feel fainting you can sit not to practice just repeat five times relax Very good. Relax. Okay. Just close your eyes and observe your body. Observe your breath. Really, if you are done, when you observe your body and your breath, you know the energy. Okay. Right. Okay. Before moving on to next practice, just we'll do one simple breathing practice. Right. Okay. Extend your both hand front. Inhale. When you inhale, you need to open your hands out. When you exhale, bring your hands in. Right? Okay. Start from Lama. Both the hands straight. Inhale. Open your both the hands to the side nicely. Stretch your both the hands. Exhale. Bring it center. Inhale. Nice. You open your both the hands. See that your lungs are getting completely filled when you open your hands. Exhale. Bring it to the center. One more time. Inhale. Completely open it. Exhale. Bring your both the hands to the center. Now hands down. Relax. Okay. 
right one more breathing practice so one more breathing la what we are going to do when you inhale you need to push your abdomen out okay your it is like a balloon i'll tell you one example balloon when you uh, blow the balloon it increases the size is right so same way when you do the inhale we need to push our abdomen out when you exhale the you need to contract the abdomen completely completely pull your abdomen in right panlama for balloon when you blow it it increases the size when you release the air it compresses the same way we need to push our abdomen when you inhale and bring your abdomen in when you exhale right okay now just slowly place your both hands on your hip unga rendu kai liye ungaloda idu pagudhiyil neenga place pannunga rendu paadathukku idaiyila oru paada idaiyila vidunga vittittu light a forward bend pannunga light only slight bend okay not much only slight now inhale push your abdomen out inhale completely pull your abdomen in it like a pot you can see your abdomen is like a pot inhale push your abdomen push 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 completely push your abdomen out inhale pull it in bring it bring it in bring it in contract your abdomen exhale push it out inhale again bring it in inhale push your abdomen out completely push your abdomen out inhale bring it in exhale relax relax now okay i hope you have felt your abdomen movement okay so this is the way we need to breathe every time consciously in the whole day we need to breathe we need to focus on our abdomen movement okay the next one the same one we are going to do it in the fast manner okay the fast breathing and fast breathe out right so now slowly bend forward now bhastrika breathing right now inhale understand do the fast breathing breathe out same way pull your abdomen in and out fast breathe in breathe out relax back to straight i think now it's up you are feeling more hungry your digestive fire is stimulated you mean you may feel more hungry one more time slightly bend forward one more time the fast breathe in breathe out vegama muchu ulle iluthu veliya vidunga okay now fast breathe in breathe out relax right relax hands down bring your hands down just feel the abdomen keep relaxed observe your breath keep relaxed right next one we are moving to kapola shakti vikasaka okay that rejuvenate the cheeks your entire mouth okay so in kapola shakti vikasaka i'll show you in kapola shakti vikasaka you are going to hold the mudra is right this is kaki mudra right uh, breathing we are going to do the breathing through the mouth okay you need to keep your mouth like a cross beak cross beak means okay like this you need to inhale through the mouth and puff the mouth that means you should not exhale i'll show you one more time with mudra that means you are going to close your nose with your thumb finger now keep your mouth like a cross beak inhale through the mouth right i'll tell you so you are going to hold your 
nose with your thumb finger, right? After this, you need to inhale through the closed beak, like inhale, panite, just make a puff. Okay, make a puff. Then bend your neck forward. Bend your neck forward like this. So when you bend your leg, the energy get locked in your throat. Yes. After bending your neck forward, just stay how long is possible. You can able to stay, stay. Then when you feel like release, slowly come up, slightly open, uh, slightly move your thumb finger and release the yeah through the nose. Okay. You are going to exhale through the nose. Right. Stand up. Stand up, hold the mudra, close your nose, make a cross B. Kaga Toda, Bai Madri, cross B. Inhale through the mouth, make a puff, just hold the breath inside the mouth, slowly bend forward, slowly bend your neck forward. Stay how long you can able to stay, just stay. How long you can stay? Then slowly come up, raising your head up, release the exhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. I hope you all understand. One more time. One more time. Just make your kaki mudra. Close your nose. Keep your mouth like a crow's beak. Inhale through the mouth. Make a pup. Bend your neck forward. Stay how long you can able to stay. Just stay how long. Now slowly lift your head up and exhale through the nose. Right. Very good. Very good, okay? Relax. Now just relax and observe your breath. Okay. Now we are, uh, we are completing this session with the asanas. We'll move on to the pranayama practice and remaining asanas will be practicing tomorrow's session, right? Now I, uh, I request everyone to lie down in your mat in supine position for your abdominal breathing. Yes, so please lie down. I request everyone to lie down in your mat. Just lie down on your mat. Onglode mat la, niga, pad lie down panla. Both the legs are separated. Both the legs are open. Both the hands are next to the body. Onglode iran de kai gula mande, odam boda side la. Sangita kira paritikenga. Iran de kai gula body oda side la. Just open your both the palms up. Turn your both the palms up. You are completely on your floor, on the floor. Palms turn Now, That means you can place your both the palms on your abdomen. Place your both the palm on your abdomen now. Close your eyes gently. Gently close your eyes. Now you are completely surrendering yourself to the earth. Your complete focus on your entire body. Now we are going to do the breathing, abdominal breathing. So already we are did that. When you inhale, you need to push your abdomen up. When you exhale, you need to bring your abdomen in. That we are going to practice here. Right? Now close your eyes. Now gently inhale. Push your abdomen up. Exhale. Bring your abdomen in. Inhale. Nicely push your abdomen. Try to fill the air completely in your abdomen. Exhale, pull your abdomen down. Completely contract your abdomen. Let all the toxins go out when you exhale. Again, inhale. Push your abdomen out like a balloon. Make like a balloon. Fill the air completely in your abdomen, diaphragm, in your entire lung. 
Now slowly exhale by contracting your entire abdomen. One more time. Inhale, push your abdomen up. Exhale, bring your abdomen down. Inhale, push your abdomen up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now relaxed, just start observing your breath. Now you're completely relaxed. All your joints, all your muscles are relaxed completely. Just keep observing your body. Keep observing your body part. Meduva, Ungloda, Udala Ninga, Gavanika Araminga, Udali Lulla, Ovura Pagdi Ilum, Ungloda Gavanatha Selatinga, Ades Neratla, Ungloda Gavana Muruvudum, Ungloda Spasatla Rupatum, Muchikatri. Ullum Vili Maga Silva, Meduan in the governing. Observe your breath. You're completely relaxed. Okay, now slowly. Move your toes. Just move your both feet. Vidwa, Ungla Padat the shake pananga. Move your both fingers. Shake your both hands. And slowly turn on to your right side. Midwa, Ungla, right side turn pani. Ungla right hand up. You can place it under your head. You can place your right hand below your head. Stay relaxed. Just turn to your right. Stay relaxed. Now slowly you can come up with closed eyes. Rub your both the palms. Completely rub your both the palms. Whenever we are in Shavasan, relaxing our body, should not open your eyes immediately. Rub your both palms nicely and place it on your eyes. Feel the warmness. Let the eyes observe your warmness. And one more time, rub your both the palm completely. Rub it nicely. Just place it on your eyes. Just rub it your entire face and your shoulder and your entire body. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We'll complete this session with the ending prayer. Uh, Usha is there. Okay. Uh, I welcome Usha for the ending prayer. Yeah, Usha, you can start. Okay, so please uh, sit straight. Bring your both the palms together in front of your chest. Close your eyes. Asatoma Satgamaya Tamastoma Jodringamaya Mrityorma Amritangamaya Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Once again, thank you all. And tomorrow, the practical session at 6 o'clock. So please, I welcome everybody. 
uh, to join at six. We'll start our practical session at six. Thank you.